Hmm, what's crack a lacking? Let's talk about rectangles. Now we know everything about rectangles. It's a shape that we learned since we were little babies. But what we don't think about is slope and rectangles. I'm being asked to use the slope formula, even though I have a, a nice coordinate plane here, I'm not gonna use it. We are being asked to use the slope formula to determine if these four points make up a rectangle. Now, if it's a rectangle, two sides have to be parallel. Another pair of two sides have to be parallel, which means the slopes of parallel sides are the same. But not only do we need that, we need to determine if they're perpendicular. So what I'm looking for, now perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So this is what I'm looking for. I need two lines that have the same slope. I need two lines that have a different same slope and are those different slopes negative reciprocals of each other? If they are, I have a rectangle. So let's just go in order. We have JK. So JK, here's my slope formula. Let me write it once up here, once alone. Uh, I think I have enough space. M equals Y sub two minus Y sub one over X sub two minus x sub one. So I'm gonna use the slope formula four times. I'm gonna do jk first. And I will not say jk because I'm being dead serious. The slope for jk is going to be, uh, let's mark these x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is going to be negative six minus two over negative eight minus negative 10. We're going to do some mental gymnastics here. So as not to make this video a 20 minute video, negative six minus two is negative eight. Negative eight, oh, a double negative. So we've got negative eight plus 10 is regular two. JK is negative four. The slope of JK is negative four. It's one. One of them's done. So we need KL. So let me, where's my eraser? There you are. Let me, let me erase this guy. I need KL. Uh, do a different color. We'll call you X1, Y1. We'll call you X2, Y2. I'm gonna be KL. M equals negative three minus negative six. Over five minus negative eight. We've got negative three plus six, which is regular three, and five plus eight, which is 13. So I'm done. Why am I done? These two are different. And so if they're different, then they would have to be negative reciprocals of each other. Uh, last time I checked, Three over 13 ain't no negative reciprocal of negative four. So is this a rectangle? No. Again, the only way that this would have worked is we could we needed to get two slopes that were the same, two different slopes that were the same as each other, and those guys have to be negative reciprocals of each other because they form perpendicular lines, because it's a rectangle. That didn't happen because there's no negative reciprocal action happening here. We are done, we are done, we are done, done, done. I don't need to go any further. So that wasn't so bad. It really wasn't. I had fun though. All right. Bye.